Hey everyone, it's Matt, ESC United, and I'm here. I have a very special treat for you today, and I'll give you again three hints, see if you can guess the country. Number one, they are the fifth smallest country in the world. Number two, they may not be in the EU, but they still use the euro as a currency. And number three, it claims to be the oldest republic in the world. It's San Marino. And I'm here with the 2015 representatives, and it's Anita and Michele. Did I say that right? Yes. Yes. I was practicing for like two hours, so I was really worried about that. So you guys are representing San Marino. So the first thing I would, what, would like to ask you is, San Marino, especially over the past few years, has become very popular among the Eurovision fans as the little underdog, if you may. How does it feel? Do you have, can you put in words how you feel representing this country at Eurovision? For me, that uh, I'm Samarinese, it's uh, a very big opportunity to show how I am, and uh, it's a honor. And uh, for Michele, <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's uh, a double honor because I'm not from San Marino, I'm from Italy. But, but San Marino uh, have chosen me to do uh, to to represent them country mm -hmm. in the Eurovision, and I'm so honored. <laughs> I'm sure. Now that's wonderful. Now let's talk about your rehearsal. That you did that yesterday. Yeah, your very first time on the stage. And this is my personal observation. You can correct me. I felt like every time, every single time you performed the song, you got more. You knew exactly where the camera was. You felt very comfortable. Do you feel like after, like at the end of the rehearsals, you really had it down and nailed? How did you feel about your rehearsals yesterday? I think uh, all in all, it was good. And uh, in uh, in these days, uh, we're going to perfect uh, all of the performs. And uh, I can't wait uh, that on the on this this stage. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. Uh, I it was a, a good rehearsal yesterday, and I hope to do uh, every time better yeah. and. Well, I'm sure that that's what they're there for, you know, to learn and get better because there are lots of cameras, so I would be confused myself. <laughs> so um, now let's talk about San Marino. As we all know, you know, in the previous years there was someone we probably now called uh, Valentina representing San Marino for three years in a row. It's, it's wonderful to have new faces, you know, but I was wondering, where had, did you have a chance to talk to her? Did she give you any, like, advice, suggestions, what to do now that she is, like, an expert on Eurovision? Yes, well, uh, I've talked... Uh about uh, um, the rehearsal, about this experience with uh, Valentina, only uh, by Facebook uh, uh -huh. messages. And uh, she has said to me that uh, we had uh, to have fun and, uh, and that's all, only have fun and uh, show our message. Yeah. Yes. So now if you can deliver the fun, people will get that. People will feel that you're enjoying it and they will enjoy it as well, I'm pretty sure. Now, another person that is involved again in San Marino is Ralph Siegel, a very famous songwriter. Now he's, I think if I'm not mistaken, that's his 24th entry for uh, Eurovision. Yes. I got that right, good. <laughs> I thought I was counting. And um, now how, just like it must be, feel good that you have such a like legend, if you will, uh, write for you. Yes, Ralph Siegel is a living legend. And with us, he uh, was a, a very good man. And then their, come posso dire, Ale? I suoi sentimenti. His feelings. His feelings are so strong. And everything we did with him was a, was a great experience to remember in our lives. I'm very sure. Now, Michele, I did read, I did some reading up on that. Is it true that you're being called in Italy like the Italian Michael Jackson? Yes. <laughs> they, people called me like this because I did a TV show in Italy called Ti Lascio Una Canzone. And in this TV show, I did uh, Michael Jackson songs mm -hmm. every, every time. Oh, so you're, you're a big fan of him, I like his music? Yes, 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 yes. I like him from when I was four uh -huh. because I knew him when I was four. And he's very good. Yes. <laughs> now, let's, even though you're like one of the youngest participants this year in the contest, you're actually more experienced than some of the others in terms of like Eurovision, because both of them represented, the, um, yeah, been to Eurovision, the junior, junior version of it. So now tell me just what is the difference? Is this it's obviously a little bigger, but how does it feel? Does it feel any different to you? Yes, because Junior Revision for us was like a preparation for this and now we are so excited and happy to be there because uh, the stage of Eurovision is uh, uh, 10 uh, times uh, bigger than uh, the Junior and uh, 
It's a big emotion. But the most beautiful things here in the Eurovision, the old Eurovision junior, senior, yeah. is that you met, that you meet a lot of people with, from other countries, and you, diciamo, fai questi scambi culturali, come posso dire? It's a sort of cultural exchange. Yes, like, cultural yeah. exchange, and so. Yeah, that is a big part thing. of yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, with all these serious Eurovision questions, let's ask uh, just a few fun questions to get to know you guys a little better. And um, the first question I have to you, if you had the ability to travel in time, back or forth, where would you go? Well... I'll give you a second. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, maybe uh, when in uh, 1969, when uh, the first men came to oh. the moon and... Uh, I want to be the first woman. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know, maybe in the future, not you, in the past. Like, yeah. <laughs> I would probably do the same thing. I'm like very interested in what's going to happen in like in 100 years from now. Because we know the past, yes, but we true, don't right? know the future. I know, I'm way too curious. Now, let's just say I was going to break into your house right now and look into your refrigerator. What kind of food would I find there? What do you usually like to eat? I'm vegetarian, so you no can't... Meat. <laughs> no meat. <laughs> Maybe ice cream. I ice love cream. ice cream. Okay. How about you? <laughs> Everything that I can eat, I, I eat. <laughs> you enjoy food. Yeah, I'm the same way. Now, if you had to get, if I could give you one superpower, what would it be? Like flying, what would you choose? Maybe flying and uh, be um, not uh, seeing. Invisible. Invisible, yes. yes. <laughs> How about you? I want to be like Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a fun I love Spider-Man. Yeah. Now, um, do you have, I know you've had a long day, so I don't want to hold you up. Do you have any last message or final message for our viewers and readers from ESC United? Thank you, ESC United readers. We, uh, we want to say thank you and uh, for your support and uh, vote number three, please. <laughs> and don't forget to light a candle. Light a candle. <laughs> I was just about the same thing. Make sure on... Thursday the 21st, right? Number three, San Marino. Make sure to vote them. And I will put up the message in just a moment on Instagram, on their profile on ESUnited.com. Make sure you check it out. Once again, guys, thank you so much for talking to us and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.